Welcome to the fine tuning versus rag video. At the end of this video, you'll know what fine tuning and rag are. You'll know when to choose rag for your AI solution, when to choose fine tuning, and you'll see scenario examples for both. So what is fine tuning? Fine tuning is the process of training a pre-existing AI model on smaller domain specific data sets to improve its performance for a particular task. To fine tune a model, you'll choose an existing base model, use your own labeled training data, and train and retrain that base model with your training data to create a new AI model that's specialized for you. Some great things about fine tuning is that you can create your own customized AI model for your use case. When you do, your model should always act the same way based on your custom training data in combination with its base knowledge. The model will be faster when responding because there's not additional steps involved to retrieve data or analyze new context. A fine tuned model can modify its behavior to handle edge cases with your nuanced training data and with more data you add, the more personalized your new model will be. The downsides are that the time and computational costs can be expensive. The fine tuning process can be both complex and you need enough data that has both variety and narrowed focus to guide your model to perform the way you require. It's not very scalable because it can't translate to other tasks well when it's specialized for a narrow focus. And to maintain a fine tuned model can require a lot of retraining, which can be a hassle. So what is RAG? RAG stands for Retrieval Augmented Generation. It is a method that enhances generative AI models by retrieving relevant information from external data sources when a model is prompted. To use RAG, you add data that can be used to add additional context. And when a user prompts the model, that data can be viewed to modify the context of the prompt and or inform the model being used of the most relevant information based on the user's intention. This context allows you to optimize your model responses to perform the way you want. RAG is great in that it can be efficient to start with a base model and just add data as needed to modify your model responses. You can modify your responses in a variety of different ways with different kinds of context, like images, documents, and audio. It can be much cheaper compared to fine tuning because you don't have to train or retrain a new model when you use it. And you can also use RAG in a variety of different scenarios quickly by just changing the data that is available to modify the context. The downsides of RAG are generally the opposite of the fine tuning pros in that RAG may not always act exactly the way you want it to regularly. Its responses can be a bit slower because of the data retrieval and analysis involved with gathering, shaping, and responding to the modified context. And responding using RAG can be generic if the added context is not specialized enough. All that said, when should we use RAG? Generally, you should always start with RAG. You might ask why? And it's because it's easier, cheaper, and more flexible to start with. Building AI apps, like anything, requires many iterations of improvement. And fine tuning has so much involved that it's not wise to start there without at least trying to see if prompt engineering and RAG can be enough for your use case. So, when should we use fine tuning? To answer this, we should ask the following. Is the base model failing on edge cases or exceptions? Is the base model not consistently providing output in the right format? Is it difficult to fit enough examples into the context window to steer it? Is there high latency? If the answer is yes to any one of these questions, you still might weigh the pros and cons of fine tuning versus RAG to decide what's best for your needs. But if all of these are true, you should use fine tuning. You could also decide to use both strategies depending on how much of the benefits and downsides you're willing to have for each. Now let's take a look at some real life examples of how fine tuning and RAG might be used. For an AI app that's using RAG, you might have a legal AI assistant that's constantly receiving up-to-date cases, or a customer support chatbot that uses real-time product data to answer a user. A fine tuning scenario may involve a specialized healthcare model that with enough data can make medical diagnoses easier for staff or a financial model with specialized information that can help reduce risk. You might use both strategies with an AI research assistant that's fine-tuned to be scientifically trained, but also has its context constantly changing with up-to-date research information. 
or a personalized corporate chatbot that has to stay up to date on day-to-day -day activities and opportunities. To summarize, fine tuning trains a new model with your data for specialized tasks. RAG prioritizes your data to optimize context when your model is prompted. And you should always start with RAG when building an AI app until you realize that you need highly specialized, low latency model performance. If you want to learn more, you can find links in the description. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and I'll answer them as soon as possible. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one.